What are you doing, bud? Drawing water pump house plants. Do you need me to explain it? No. Are you sure? I don't think so. I mean, do you want to explain I it? I can explain it. Okay. Okay. Pump house. We've got a line running from the big tank underground. It pops up right here. It's going to tee off to a gravity spigot and to the water pump. The pump is going to tee off to a pressurized spigot on the front, the pressure tank, and then a pressurized spigot on the back, which will hook the airstream into will have its own little mini 12 volt system with a battery to run all of this, but also our 30 amp service for the Airstream is gonna mount to the side of this. So it's gonna come under there. There will be a solar panel on the top. It's a really good drawing, babe. Thanks, babe. Do you wanna see my plans for the pump house? Sure. My plans are to build a pump house and I know exactly what it's gonna look like. It's all up here. No plan. I mean, I have a plan. I don't have a drawn out plan because I can't draw plans, but I know what it's gonna look like. Are you ready? Jonathan hates this. This is where we um, differ. So Jonathan likes to draw things out and I like to do, build as we go. Like, okay. I just like to like wing it and it's all good. I'm ready. Are you ready? Sure. It's time for power tools. <laughs> well, yeah, that version three of our solar powered pump house. Yeah, we're trying different pump houses each time. Yeah. This uh, one's pretty similar to the first one. Now. Yeah, we, we tried the earth bag thing on the chicken garden. It's too big. Way overkill. The whole roof ended up being ridiculous. So we're going to pour a proper pad underneath, right. not just lay some bags, put some stuff in it like we're going to actually build it up underneath. We're going to put in a drain so that if water ever does leak inside there, it'll come out the side. All right, ready? So I guess we gotta go look at our wood situation. Nope, we're gonna cut these first. Okay. You're just gonna wing it and you're gonna like it. I will be the first to admit that doing things my way, uh, which means next to no plan. Well, I have a plan, it's just not written out. Definitely has its downsides, like realizing that your boards are two by eights instead of two by sixes. So we're off to the hardware store, grab some two by sixes.
excited are you to be able to build something on a truly flat surface? Very excited. This is the first time we've had like a big flat surface to work on. Yeah, we usually build on the deck <laughs> and it's like, I mean, yeah. it's mostly flat, but it's not like a solid flat surface. So this is nice. Game changer. Sorry, I want to say that again. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. Also, should we pour another cement pad? Like Maybe. A, a work A work pad just to build Yeah, just on? to build things. <laughs> Like a little 10 by 10. Remember how long it took with the first one? Oh my gosh. Well, remember how it took long the first wood one took? We I built it like it three took times. That long. You, say, you keep saying it took uh, a long time. It, was, we, it took like two days. I don't feel like it took that long. Okay. Right. It did. <laughs> stopping point because we need to decide how we're going to like what material we're going to put on the outside but hey look I did know. you see i didn't do any plans uh-huh and we just winged it we just wanged it wang it we've got to go into town tomorrow and decide what we want for the outside that way we can continue finishing this build we need to get some hinges we need to get some cement Cement, cement concrete we're gonna get a concrete. little drain yes we're gonna get the drain and try some, some new things yeah, yeah. yeah all right ready wish, wish wish us luck they don't need to wish us luck we got this okay Do you Sounds, feel confident i feel semi-confident i feel very confident okay all right confidence looks good on you just tried to set up the camera to record what I was doing and I forgot to hit record. So anyway, <laughs> you missed it, but we got the little pad framed up for the pump house. So today we'll be going to the store, grab some concrete, cement, concrete, concrete, <laughs> and get this pad done this weekend. This is very exciting. Things are moving.
Welcome to the most complicated tiny concrete pad you've ever seen. This is only about four by four. Well, it's a little bit bigger. Um, and we're doing something different with this one. In case some component fails inside this, this pump house and it starts gushing water everywhere, we've put in a drain here so it'll flow out the side. We drilled a hole through the side of the form. We've got the water coming up from the tank. It's already insulated, goes underground. We have our all thread cut, so we're gonna put all thread in two on each side and then our big uh, six by six posts. We're gonna have holes drilled in that and so those will bolt down sort of as a foundation or I guess a base for the pump house. Um, we've got our metal rebar in there. Is there anything we're forgetting? I feel like we're forgetting something. It's not really rebar. I said rebar. Okay. I didn't see your air quotes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think like you already leveled it and got it ready. So we just have to mix and pour. Yep. And then we got to set these bolts when it, when it firms up just a little bit. Yep. You ready to go? Jet, you know, be my mixer buddy. Yes. <laughs> So of course we underestimated how much concrete we needed, but um, John went to go grab some more backs. But I went ahead and tried to do about five and a half inches around the frame to where if they didn't have concrete or something, at least we'd have the area where the pump house frame is gonna sit. Anyway, I think this is the first time that we've ever not calculated concrete right, right? I don't think we've ever run out before, but first time for everything, right? three quarters of a bag of concrete left over. So I thought I will use this old bucket and an old piece of pipe and I'm gonna make a planter for our airport. So the problem with free range chickens is they get in your cement pad.
Jesse. There you go. Jeez. I'm always so nervous about that. I feel like as soon as we remove the it's gonna forms, like, it's going to like crumble or something. <laughs> hey, look at that. That looks pretty good. had our trench for the electrical dug yesterday mm -hmm. but we can't really make all the connections and pull the wire until we have the big 30 amp receptacle in place which means the pump house needs to be set on the concrete pad that we poured the other day yeah so it's all connected first step is to get it off the base and just set it to the side so mm -hmm. that we can anchor down these base six by sixes and hopefully hopefully drill holes in the right spot to where the all thread comes up and everything is perfect everything's fine <laughs> I'm really nervous about this part but I think it'll be okay we just need to measure multiple times and then we'll put the top building in place we'll put a little piece of plywood and mount that box so we can pull temporarily off, run like, our conduit yeah we're gonna put up a temporary piece of plywood yeah. because we don't have all the plywood we need to put around it it's a whole thing. But we have to do this because it might rain later tonight and we want to get all this like tested and get it covered back up because we don't want water filling up our trench where our electrical is. We didn't explain this quickly. No. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. A 
Tear that falls free.